A very good morning, welcome, it's Jeff Lawton online, uh, Tuesday the 9th of April, well uh, I'm going to do this without any notes, so if I screw up then I apologise in advance, but I'm going to go through a few races uh, that I've had bets in, and I'll give you my reasons for that, so um, if I turn my head, I'm looking at another computer, so just please uh, ignore me, um, again I will say to you, if you want the early prices, and all these again have been really, really heavily backed, you can get them at 8.30 just by dropping me a line on the uh, email below, jefflawtonmanagement at gmail.com. Right, start at Thursk. Uh, the horse I like here is Dukes of Hather. Now, this was, uh, I think this cost about 42 grand uh, from the yard of Adrian Keatley. It was quite a shrewd trainer. Uh, this run in the Brocklesby finished seventh in the Brocklesby. Um, well back that day, as I remember, but he missed the break and then stayed on under very tender handling to finish seventh. Now, he takes on the fourth from that race again, Atherston Warrior, uh, trained by Ali Sainz. That was fourth in the Brocklesby. This one was seventh. But if you saw the ground that uh, Duke of Ather lost and then how tenderly handled he was, but stayed on to be right up his backside, um, then you definitely would want to be with Dukes of Ather. That was about 13 to 8 uh, this morning. I think it's, it's about 5 to 4 now. Um, but that is definitely a horse I have backed. Um, the unraced horses, I'm told, are not a lot. So I would want to be ignoring those. So two races I want to cover at uh, Southall. Start in the 6.30. This is where I told you I was going to turn my head. Uh, incremental I want to be with here. Now this was originally with John Gosden. And I remember this making its debut back in 2023 when it finished uh fourth i believe at kempton in a in a reasonable race never saw a racetrack then until october when michael bell bought it for thirty five thousand. ran well on its first appearance uh behind a, a decent john gosden horse but it ran away then with a race at wolverhampton over a mile and a half at um uh, back in november um I thought that one with a lot of authority and it runs in its first handicap today off a mark of only 80. Now this was as big as 11 to 4 this morning on, on Betfair. Um, I think it's currently about 5 to 4 so it just shows that if you want to get these prices you're really going to be on it at seven. Uh, sorry, at 8.30 in the morning and as I say you can drop me a line and I will fill you in on how you can get it. Right, go 7.30 at... Um, Southall. The, the horse I like here is uh, Gressington. Um, now this one on debut over course and distance uh, going back to September but its best run was at Redker on the grass uh, when it was only just touched off carrying a penalty uh, behind Voltero and Speeding Bullet. Now the third horse Speeding Bullet came out next time and won a new market nursery off a of mark of 79 so sort of gives uh, the form a bit of uh, context uh, and I would have thought that around mid 80s that, that day without doing the handicap that would be hard to beat and again price 11 to 10 this morning you have 4 to 5 now if you want to get on now uh, there is one just you need to be aware of I had a very strong mark for the George Boyos General Assembly now when it ran for Joe Lyons on its only start last year it went off even money favourite. I think it cost about 130 grand. Went off even money favourite, but showed very little. The owners have retained it. That's Team Valley. They've retained it, but sent it to George Boy. This is the first time it's run for George Boy. I can tell you it was working a couple of weeks ago with a horse rate at around 100. Now, it doesn't always mean it's going to run to anywhere near that, but I can tell you that they do fancy it, and I know they're going to back it late on. So that's that one. And just a couple that I want to mention at um, over jumps at Hereford. Uh, in the 4.30, uh, in the 4.30 when we eventually get to it. Um, so this is a problem about doing things without notes, but I really didn't have time to today. So the horse I like in the 4.30 is uh, Tour of Valley. Uh, been knocking on the door my negative is the jockey i don't think she's a great deal she doesn't certainly doesn't help uh, help a cause um but i do think that will be winning not backed it but i do think it'll be winning and in the five o'clock el grangero now this guy this clive B boyley brooks 
or whatever he's called. He's got such a good strike rate. I don't know anything about him. And the horse is running his name, which obviously is... Uh, He's got uh, deep pockets to be buying horses running his name. But this was impressive last time. I know he should have won. Uh, but I thought the uh, second favourite of John Joe's made him work hard that day. And uh, I think the step up in trip will, will suit it. Now, again, he was abet at about 10 to 11 this morning. But there are a couple of non-runners come out. I think you're looking about 1 to 2, 4 to 9 now. But they're the horses the, or the races I've wanted to look at today. There are about, uh, I think, 5 or 6 races I've looked at today. And that would be enough. I've had a few bets, but not I've not backed them all. So, as a, again, drop me a line if you want to know any, any more. Ask me any questions. I, I'll answer anything, honestly. But if you do want uh, to get in touch with the private service, drop me a line. All right, many thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.